What on earth is happening with Cake? Borrow the Cake token at DeForce, it's now rebranded to Unitos, for 20 to 30% per annum. Nowadays you can even borrow it for 0.22%. So that was the borrowing cost, but at the same time, you could go to PancakeSwap directly, lock up your tokens and get 60 to 70% APY. So you made risk-free 50% per annum independent of the price movements. So that was chapter one. I made 50% in a year risk-free simply by doing that arbitrage. Chapter two then was to short the token, to bet on falling prices once all of these additional cake tokens hit the market. Because that's what's happening when you introduce a very lucrative staking program, right? You lock up your tokens, you give a lot more tokens back in the future. And once all those people get those tokens, they're likely going to sell it, depressing the price. This is cake relative to BNB. In April of this year was the expiry of the one year staking program and cake underperformed BNB by 58%. And yes, of course, I shared all of this within premium. The link is down below, by the way. Now, why did we then see this subsequent recovery? And why is this now stalling? The recovery happened because of three reasons. And again, we made a public video this time quite a while back. The first is the release of a new feature, the position manager. The second is that the total supply of cake isn't increasing anymore because burn and mint are canceling each other out now. Last but not least, we had Cake being implemented in the perpetual futures of Binance. So now you can bet on the derivatives market with leverage on the outcome of Cake. And that's good because then whales tend to buy up the Cake token. Feel free to check it out. It's free. Link is down below.